If you wanna be on the front page of Google, right at the top with your brand and your reviews front and center, this video is for you. I assume most of you want that, you should if you have a good business. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to operate and set up Google local service ads. And I'm also gonna show you the four big mistakes that you need to avoid while setting this up. My company, we spend over half a million dollars a month on Google ads, mostly Google PPC and YouTube ads. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, how to avoid the big mistakes and why you should probably be doing it. But before I get into that, there's really two things you need to know. The first thing is this is for verified local service businesses only, and it is not yet available everywhere. So you need to have a verified Google local business. You need to have verified reviews, and the more, the better. There's a verification process they have because they actually guarantee the people who become a lead for your business that they're gonna get decent service from you. And if they don't, Google will actually cover a cost for that. So if you don't have a Google business page, if you don't have a lot of reviews, this is not for you. The second thing to understand is this is a pay per lead program. Contrary to Google PPC or Google search ads, which we all know and love, of. Those are the search ads you see above the Google search result. That's a pay-per-click model. So every time you click on one of those ads, Google will charge the advertiser for that click. Then they will feed you back data that will basically show you how many clicks did it take to get a lead and it'll give you a cost per lead. This is a pure pay per lead model. So there's really three ways you can get a lead with Google local service ads. People can call you and through Google local service ads system, it actually records the calls and you can decide if that lead is validated or a valid lead and that's when Google will charge you. Or you can decide if it was a junk lead, it wasn't worth your time or it was in the wrong industry or something like that and Google shouldn't charge you. So you actually determine that. Now you want to keep the amount of people you say Google should charge you for high so that they show you more. Naturally, Google wants to make money. The second thing is they can actually message you on the platform. And the third thing, which is brand new, is you can actually connect a calendar and they can book with you directly. So it's a pay per lead model, meaning you only pay when you actually get a lead. You don't pay for impressions or clicks. You just pay when you actually have a meaningful connection with someone who needs your services, which is really, really cool. Without further ado, let's head over to my screen share and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do this. So the first thing you're gonna do is just go to Google and literally search Google local service ads. Now, if you are curious about the cost of this in your niche, you're gonna get this option for cost. And if you don't get that, just search Google local service ads cost. Now, this is a little calculator. You can put in a zip code and then you can also put in your amount of leads you can handle a month. So for some businesses, you might be up at 100. For some, you might only be able to handle 10. Our industry is real estate, so I'll just use real estate. So say you want 10 leads a month, it'll be roughly 270 to 410. If you say I want 100 leads a month, it'll be 2,700 to 4,100. Now that doesn't mean you're gonna get that many leads because there's a lot of competition in this now. It was the shiny object of last year, so a lot of people jumped on this. And it really depends on your industry, um, but that'll just give you roughly an idea of cost. So you might be expecting like 50 to $100 a lead, something in that uh, nature, but you can verify these leads to yourself. And with Google PPC, you're gonna get a lot of unverified leads and you have to filter those through. And the lead cost, the qualified quality lead cost, depending on your industry, could be roughly the same. Um, but it really depends, and I think this is worth a shot. What you're gonna do is go back to the search result, just hit Google local service ads, you're gonna hit get started. Um, I'm not gonna take you through this whole setup process, I'm just gonna show you this first part, which is the first big mistake people make is not actually checking if there's availability in their area, so that's the first thing you're gonna do. So if I say, let's try Florida with the same random Florida zip code I chose, and then we go to like carpentry. That's just a random thing. So I'm gonna check eligibility. Great, so it looks like there is eligibility. I assume for real estate agents, it's the same. So if I go through and I, I do real estate, we do Florida, zip code. If it goes to the next step, that means you're eligible, which it did again. So one thing I wanna make clear for my real estate friends is this isn't available in a lot of places. Whoops, not France, Canada. So if I choose like British Columbia, which is where I'm from, um, and I go down, you'll see there's actually no option for real estate agents. So they're adding to locations and service areas all the time. They're trying to grow this program right now a lot. So even though I don't see real estate agents in here, because this isn't available in Canada yet, at least most of Canada to my knowledge, but by the time you watch this, it might be. So you need to go in and just select your country, select your zip or postal code, your province, state, whatever, and just check if it's available. There are some pockets even in the US where there isn't availability. So just make sure you check that. You're gonna go ahead and create a, a new account. I already have an account. So that's why it's giving me this option to go to my existing one. I'm not going to go through this process on this video, uh, putting in uh, all of this information, but here's basically the idea is you can appear in the top search results. You can only pay for calls and messages people send and now booked appointments and you can build your local reputation just by being on the front page of Google, which is pretty cool. So if I click get started, uh, what you're going to do is fill out your business name, your official business name, like your LLC, put in all your information. I'm not going to go through this here because it's pretty dry and boring, but there is a sign up tutorial video at the very bottom if you really want some help with this, but it's a, it's a basic sign up flow. So there's nothing really uh, too crazy in there. Now, once you get through your into your profile, it's going to look something like this. 
Uh, you're going to have your options on the left. So you're going to have your business verification. So this is a client, one of our clients, I'm just going to uh, use as an example, who's already gone through this process. So basically you're going to submit a headshot in her case, a real estate license. If you're uh, in some other industry, you're going to have to submit proof that you're qualified or certified to work in that industry. Uh, proof of insurance is a big one, a background check. So uh, you also want to have customer reviews, set your budget, put your billing information in and choose your category. So you want to make sure this is obviously done or you're not going to be able to run ads. So this is really important. But as you can see here, like she is now Google screened, which means Google has verified her. She's a legitimate business, legitimate agent. I think she has like 60 some uh, five star reviews on Google, which is awesome. So that's kind of what you need to make this work, right? If you go over to your profile and budget, this is where you can kind of now it's going to do this through the sign up flow for you, but you can go in here and you can always change stuff. So you can look at like your business hours. Um, you can change those. So you can basically choose that you only want people to be calling you during your business hours, or if you want them to call you any, any day or custom hours, and you can go in here and you can choose your budget, your bidding strategy. I would recommend maximize leads. That's what we all want is the most leads possible here. This is important. This is something I want to point out. Our weekly target is 15 to 38 leads, but in the last seven days, we've got one lead. This is a brand new account. Uh, we just set this up recently, so it's not fully optimized yet, but the point is, is that this is competitive. So you might want a hundred leads a month, but you might only get five. And that's pretty normal with this type of advertising. And it really depends on the competition in your market at the time. So it really depends on how many other advertisers are there with a lot of reviews. Cause if there's someone else with way more reviews and they're verifying all of the leads, Google sends them, Google's probably going to prioritize them. If you're declining all of the leads, Google sends you and says, no, they're not verified. And you're only approving like 25%. Google's not going to want to send you more leads than someone else. So keep that in mind. Google's motivation is to make money, right? So just make sure you know that you can also add your job types. So these are like in real estate categories. Uh, if you're like a locksmith, there's going to be different categories for that. You can obviously have photos just like a regular business profile service areas. I'll touch on in a minute. Cause that's the second big mistake. I see people make choosing too few service areas and not broad enough. So what I generally recommend is choose like three to six zip codes and see how that goes for you. You might want to go broader if you're not getting enough leads, but you also don't want to be driving like two hours to someone's house for your service, right? This hasn't been set up yet. This is brand new uh, where people actually can book appointments on your calendar. Now, this doesn't make sense for most businesses. If you're a locksmith, for example, people are probably going to call you, but make sure all of this is dialed in. It's pretty straightforward. You want to make sure you have all your information filled out. You've set your budget. You've set the job types you, you serve. You have some photos also in here you can go through and you can look at your reviews obviously the more positive reviews you have the better in this case we have uh, 50, 61 five-star reviews which is great but then what i want to show you really the most important thing is leads so this is where you're actually going to get your lead flow now you will get notified by your email uh, for new leads if we look at active leads you can see there's not a lot of volume in here yet so that could be the case for you in some cases people that have been on google screen google verified for a while they're getting like multiple leads a day that's not the case for most people if you look here you'll see this lead is not charged and this lead is charged now what's interesting is if you go to the not charged lead um, you'll see that the, the calls are actually recorded. So you'll see this call is actually only 26 seconds long and it looks like it wasn't in the correct industry. I think they might've wanted like a rental and they don't do that. How you manage that is if you go into job types here, you can actually choose like what type of people you service. So there's like buyer's agent for closures, new construction, property management rentals. So we have those turned off, right? Cause she doesn't do PM, doesn't do rentals. Then we have seller's agent, relocation, luxury, first time home buyer. So turn on the ones that you do serve. If you do rentals, obviously you want to turn on rentals, but if someone calls you for a rental, that's not what you do. You've listed that in here. You can mark that as a invalid lead. If I go back and I look at the one that was charged and verified, you'll see that this conversation, this recording was actually uh, three minutes and 14 seconds. So a little bit longer. And if I go over to completed leads, you'll see there's a couple in here that were charged that are uh, titled as job type seller's agent, right? So if I go into this conversation, you'll see that it was actually a 22 minute phone call. So that was pretty awesome. It looks like um, they were actually a seller's agent. And so she got an opportunity to go get a listing, which is pretty huge. So this is where you kind of want to pay attention to, but you want to uh, make sure your marking leads is booked or um, invalid. And so that's the big thing you want to uh, pay attention to. And that's the third big mistake I think people make is they don't proactively actually do this, which is really, really important. And yeah, the fourth big mistake I see people make is like, they just don't have enough reviews. Like you can try this if you don't have enough reviews, but if you have like one or two, it's really not worth your time. You want to make sure you have a lot of reviews. That's how you're going to really stand out on this platform. There's not a whole lot more to show you. This platform is super simple. So I hope that helps you make 
uh, less mistakes when setting this up and just to show you that you can actually self-manage this. So if you like this kind of content and you want to learn DIY marketing tutorials, that's what this channel is all about. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell as we're going to be dropping a lot of different tutorials in the future, especially in the next coming weeks on algorithms, advertising tutorials, social media, organic marketing tutorials, all of that good stuff. So I will see you guys in the next one.